Be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. Brothers and sisters, what is it that you are connected to that is stopping you from being happy? What is it that you are connected to that is stopping you from being joyous? We know the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. While we are going about doing our day-to-day -day things, there are things that we consume. There are things that we hear. And when we hear things, the things that we hear go into our ear gates and then it filters in our heart. And Lord and behold, we're not paying attention to the negativity that we are consuming is robbing us of our joy, it's robbing us of our peace, it's stopping us from sleeping, it is doing, creating havoc on the mind is creating havoc on the body. But I come to speak a word of encouragement. This is the year of kingdom takeover. And whatever it is that you know that God has called you for, this is the time that you put a demand and you fight like never before. How do I get my joy back? How do I get my peace back? How do I get my happiness back? Simple. The scripture says, Bad association spoils you for habits. That includes being around negativity. Because if what you are connected to, it is not speaking life and life more abundantly, as we know the scripture says that Christ came, that we might have life and life more abundantly. So if we are connected to things that are not producing life, things that are not producing what thus saith the Lord, then this is the time for us to address those things that are robbing the peace, that are robbing the joy, that are robbing the happiness. And sometimes you got to learn how to disconnect from things that are producing negativity. And sometimes what that means is block and delete. You don't need to be consuming things that's going to rob you of your joy, that's going to rob you of your peace, that's going to rob you of being happy, that's going to rob you and stop you from, from, from doing what God has called you to, to, to do, from completing the task, from completing the assignment that, is, that has been spoken over your life. This is not a season to take to throw in the towel, but this is the season for you to get up. This is the season for you to take over. This is the season for you to fulfill what God has called you for in this season. This is the time for you to get bold. This is the time for you to get radical. 
This is the time for you to take back what belongs to you, what God has, what God has called you for, what you've been destined, what you've been born to fulfill. This is the year of takeover. And in order for you to take over what, what belongs to you, it literally means that you're going to have to disconnect from people that are not like-minded. The scripture says bad association spoils useful habits. So you're going to have to shut it down. You're going to have to disconnect. You're going to have to disassociate yourself from things that's robbing you, that's stopping you from being your very best. This is the season of takeover. Put a demand. Move with urgency for you to take back what belongs to you. Your peace, your happiness, your joy, your love is what counts. And God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be joy, to be full of joy. He wants you to be full of peace. Stand up. Stand tall. Stand strong. Take back what the enemy has stolen from you. Get bold. Get radical. Let the enemy know where he belongs. Stop allowing the enemy to punk you. It's time to fight back for the kingdom of God, suffering violence, and the violent take it by force. And we're going to take this thing by force with prayer. We're going to take this thing by force by renewing the mind. We are going to take back everything the devil has stolen from us. It's game time. Game time, sons and daughters of God. It's the season of takeover. It's nothing that's going to be impossible. It's nothing. 
It's not 